Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Star Ocean 2. We are, of course, still at the castle town uh, of Cross. And there are some things we need to do before we can head out there and going on a treasure hunt. For one, we got to do the guild missions, cause like I said at the end of the last time, I think it is to teach us how the whole IC system works and how we craft things. And after that, well, we got a couple of uh, PA locations. And this is of course where we need to be for our main quest at the moment, the treasure hunt in the cross cave. So yes, let's uh, pick up the guild missions. Yes, give me all of them. Can we do all of them? Because it did say that he will provide with the materials. So silver earring, fried egg, silver and capture a cross carp. Ah, we have them all. Please do come again. Uh, I think the first three we should be able to make using the IC system. Talent. Talent increases the success rate of IC and specialties. IC and specialties have recommended talents and each character acquires different talents. Acquired talents can be viewed on the status screen. Using an IC or specialty without the recommended talent can lead to the discovery of a secret talent. So basically, if you're doing something and you're not talented, like cooking while you have no taste, you might unlock that taste because you might have that secret talent. Secret talents grant a bonus of 100 SP and BP when discovered. So yes, we do want to try it out with everybody. Maybe not on very expensive materials, but definitely try it. Factors. Equipment obtained from IC or treasure chests will occasionally have factors added effects. Stats boost, support effects and special effects. Weapon, armor and accessories each have different type of factors. Yes, we know that from other Star Ocean games. Because we did of course uh, 6 and it has the same thing as well. That's why we abused the hell out of it, making experience rich armor. Maybe we can make that here. I don't know if it's necessary because we're leveling quite quickly as yes, I've, uh, I've uh, seen. Alright, uh, is this the three that we need to use? Cooking for the fried egg. Cooking. Create food using ingredients. The higher the skill level, the greater the chance of success and the more types of food can be made. Aside from restoring HP or MP, food could also produce effects in battle. Cook it beforehand and then use it to enhance characters. Using another kind of food will override any current food effects. Food items cannot be used during battle. Alright, well... Oh, they want a fried egg, but the question is, who can make that for us? Okay, we cannot change it, so she's the only one with taste? Or is it just because this is like learning about it? Let's just try it. Here goes. <laughs> Success! That's not a fried egg. Fruit milk. A milk flavored with different kinds of fruit juice. Oh no, I get it. We went um, in cooking here. Oh, can we not change here? Or is that because it's the, oh, she's the only one that unlocked it? Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I get it. We have here uh, improvement of special arts, maybe? Yeah, there it is. I see and specialty skills. Because this is when, where we learn it. So here should be somewhere cooking. Or recipe. Yeah, cooking, not learned. And that's how we learn the skill and then we can use it. Okay, okay. I will check in between the episodes to see which one we need. Or at least the which one I want to try with. Because some are, of course, a lot better than others. Uh, let's see. Uh, there are four ingredients. What if we use two? Do we then get two of the same? Or potentially two different ones? Two different ones. Scrambled eggs. Egg sandwich. Also good. Still not what we're looking for. And yet another dish. Do we need to uh, start unlocking it from someone else to make it? 
Uh, let's see on missions. No, guild missions. Uh, use cooking to make a fried egg. <laughs> yes, I get that, but uh, maybe we do need uh, another person with the cooking skill. Don't use too much. We don't want to season it too badly. Wait. Did I, did I not understand that correctly? Or is it just a part of it? Hmm. And now it is cooking level two. Okay, so there are multiple skills that affect a certain uh, crafting, and we need to use all of them in order to learn how to use it. All right. It's a bit different, but I'm up for it. We can handle this. I think it's just based on luck, because I think it's just... Um, the first one is probably the fried egg. We can handle this. We can handle this. Well, unlock the first one. No. <laughs> well, it is how crafting usually works. Like, you use the items and you craft one of the possible recipes that you have. You can potentially learn new stuff in the same bracket, but it's not a guarantee. I'm afraid to use multiple. There it is. There is our fried egg. Perfect. That took a lot longer than I was hoping for. Ah, crafting. Create accessories from ore. The higher the skill level, the greater the chance of success. Uh, created items to boost character stats, award off status ailments and gain advantage in battle. Each character can create different accessories, so try making things with everyone. Alright. <laughs> uh, silver earring, that is what we want to do 100%. Okay. This is more direct. <laughs> the scream. Ah, uh, yeah. Did you make it? Yes, we did. Perfect. The even has a plus beside it. An alchemy. Create new ore using iron as a base material. The higher the skill level, the greater the chance of success and the more types of ore that can be made. Save full by creating ore that is normally purchased from shops or make precious ore not sold anywhere. Or is used in crafting and customization. So making base materials out of something? Oh, iron. Okay. <laughs> base iron to make silver. This is more direct than cooking, isn't it? Good. Well, we definitely have to play around with this because they have an entire list with potential recipes. If it's me, I would love to have the entire list filled, because it's there as an option. Whether it's doable or not, that, that is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Depends also on how much money we have, I imagine. <laughs> Submit! Oh, we have to go back. Uh, well, we do need to go back after we fish, so let's get out of here and find a fishing spot. You know what, shall we do the PA first here before we head out uh, for fishing? Might as well. Let's see where they are. Ah. The PA is on the map. And who is it going to be? Oh, it's in the church. Oh, it's in the church or? It's definitely Marina. Oh, this town is a bit too busy, don't you think? No. I've seen busier towns in other RPGs. Not too bad. What's up, Reyna? You look like you were staring into space or something. Promise me you won't laugh, okay? I was thinking about how nice it'd be if I could meet someone really wonderful and have our wedding ceremony in a place like this. 
Aww. We're not even a fling yet, as he's already thinking about our marriage. <laughs> I thought you already had your wedding. Oh, no reference to Alan. No, definitely not doing it. Uh, I hope my wedding is in a church like this too. I think this would be the right answer, right? Because this is a, sounds a bit like condescending, like oh, you're a girl, which, yeah, he's right, but I don't think that's the right answer to it. I think this would be more beautiful. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting married in a place like this either. You think so too, Claude? Something like that, yeah. I need to find someone to get married to first, though. That's true. I'm sure you'll find the right man for you, Reyna. Thank you. I'm sure you'll find a beautiful bride for yourself as well, Claude. Uh, would it be wonderful if they're talking about each other? But we're way too early in the game to uh, be thinking that way. They need to learn each other about each other a bit more. Have you ever wondered what the person you'll marry will be like, Claude? Maybe you've already met her and still don't know it. There is a chance of that, definitely. Alright. Are we now on three hearts with uh, each other? Mm, it said it changed is definitely not worse, that's for sure. Uh, I think that, that that's it. Yes, return to normal mode. Yeah, there's no PA here anymore. All right, so we have Arlia and we have Salva. Let's uh, get over there. Oh, stop running around so much. You're making me dizzy. All right, that's still the same as the last time we were here. So let's split up. And find where they are. Oh, I still feel uncomfortable coming back to Salva. I can imagine. Being kidnapped and almost sacrificed to the gods. Yeah, that's not something you get over quick. I hope, I think. <laughs> There's no shopkeeper. Did she chase him away? Ah, Claude. What's up, Celine? Well, I came here to buy some jam. But it looks like I'm out of luck. Nobody's tending to the store right now. Uh, well, how about I go look for her? I could track down the shopkeeper for you. Oh, could you? Would it be too much to ask? Nah, I'll be right back. She's probably somewhere in town. Thank you. Oh, this will definitely uh, raise our friendship levels. Where would she be? Uh, I think there's a PA indicator where she is. She in, why is she in the mine? Oh, don't tell me she's being kidnapped by uh, people that worship demons and like jam. La 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 la. Excuse me. Are you the girl who works at the jam shop? <gasps> oh, yes, why? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just practicing my singing. You're singing. Yes, I've always wanted to be a singer ever since I was a little girl. So I try to practice whenever I can, whether I'm in the bathroom or just stopping by here in the middle of a walk. This cave is a great place to practice, actually. The acoustics here really bring out my voice. Oh, hmm, interesting. But I'll never really be a singer, not when I've got all these freckles. I probably should just give it up. <laughs> Dreams are nice, but they never last. That's a terrible thing to say. Never give up on your dreams. Just go for it. You never know. It might happen one day. You can't just give up on your dream like that. As long as you keep pursuing your dreams, you're guaranteed to make them come true someday. Oh, you're right. 
I'll never accomplish anything if I get discouraged just like that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to keep on practicing as much as I can. That's the only way I can make it happen. Oh no! I've totally forgotten about the shop. I hope there aren't any customers waiting for me. Just one. <laughs> you can make it happen, okay? Who knows? Before you know it, you might be the biggest thing to ever hit Expo. It would be cool if later in the game you come back and you hear about the superstar that was once a owner of the shop. I don't know if that will happen, but it would be cool if it is. If it does happen, remind me of this scene if I've forgotten it myself. Alright, let's go back to the store and see if uh, we get a reaction. But we've already got a friendship point, so it should be okay. Oh, it's you, Claude. Thanks for finding the clerk for me. No problem, you're welcome. Alright, let's bring everybody back. And uh, no other PA. Perfect. I heard that you should walk along the main road if you're gonna leave uh, the village. <laughs> Dad told me it's too dangerous to walk in the woods. Same text still again, so we can just go straight into the PA. Oh, Claude! Are you done looking around the village? Yeah, more or less. I've been here before, so... A rather pleasant little place, isn't it? Perfect for getting away from the crowds of the city. Definitely, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's something I want you to have, Claude. What is it? Just a good luck charm. Something that you need far more than I do. And why is that? Oh, are you sure I can have this? It looks pretty expensive. Please take it. I found it on a treasure hunting expedition a little while ago. I can sense that it holds some kind of symbological force. It was worn by someone who looked like a swordsman. I thought it would be more fitting for you to have it. Oh, uh, thank you. That's very nice. Um, what kind of person was this? The man who used to wear it? I couldn't tell you, really. He was already a skeleton when I discovered him. <laughs> well, it's a gift she's given to us in good uh, conscience, so you can only say thank you to something like that, isn't it? Thanks, Celine. I'm glad you thought about me. <laughs> You'll make me blush if you put it that way. Oh? I wonder if this is what having a kid brother is like. A kid brother? <laughs> An unidentified jewelry. Ah, could it be that we have uh, like some kind of inspection tool in this that we can see what kind of item it is? Cool. I have an idea. How about paying me back with a present of your own, Claude? Huh? It doesn't have to be expensive. It's the thought that counts. Okay, you got it. Uh, alright, what are we gonna give her then? This will be our little secret. Why do I get a feeling that there's gonna be like a later PA that we have an item that we're gonna give to her? Because we have a ton of accessories already from uh, the enemies we fought. So it would be nice. She's probably still in her room, isn't it? Oh, I definitely feel most at home in my own room. <laughs> Alright. Let's pull them all back together again. Uh, no more PA. So we are ready to move along. Shall we go straight to the cross cave? Because there is some treasure hunting to be done. And I've been in the beginning bit of cross cave and it is huge. So let's get into it. Because it's going to take a bit to find uh, the back uh, of it. Because this is the part that I explored myself. I didn't pick up any of the treasures because we do that together. I did fight the monsters in here just to uh, raise my level a little bit. There's no way around we got enemies. Yeah, and with the three of us, it would be more than uh, capable of taking them all down. Oh yeah, and of course, uh, 
By fighting in between the episodes, I've uh, maxed out our bonus gauge. Helmet break. Oh, nice. Always like some new movements. Uh, now we can leave that. That's uh, for the way back later. And uh, for now, as far as I can see, SP and BP will we keep on getting it. It's not that it goes lower the higher level we are, because we are a few levels higher than when we began this game and fought fighting these enemies, and they stay the same. Even the experience levels, it's just that we need a lot more to get level up, which is more than fine, but it's mainly about those SP and BP points. If they stay the same, that means we can grind for it, and that will pay itself back later on because the more points we have the more we can increase our skills and extra abilities making us stronger for the fight so very nice. yeah like I said I feel like this game is going to be very grind friendly meaning I get to grind a lot if I wanted to because I love to do that in the game when I'm watching a movie with a friend uh, later later night I can then just grind in the background because I don't need to watch the screen uh, for that for some enemies, especially when the enemies are weaker. And by the end of it, I have like accumulated like 100 or 200 points. We can uh, put in something like the IC or one of the attack moves that we have. But I'll make sure not to uh, oversaturate myself. God, there needs to be at least some challenge along the way, isn't it? Just something uh, we can do just to have some fun with it. Here they come. Oh yeah, and I'm not avoiding the attacks because last couple of times I tried it, it ended up uh, me just losing my bonus gauge, which is not worth it. Especially against enemies here that cannot even touch me. Ooh, Mandrake, nice. Ooh, a thousand full. I take that gladly. Ooh. Yes, there are apparently a lot of treasure in here. Be careful. You ready for this? I think I found like three or four chests along the way. Blackberries, thank you. Yeah, and the corridors in here are way too small if we ever wanted to, uh, to uh, like avoid the enemies. That was easier than I thought. Rose hip. Well, I take any material the enemies will give us, because that means I do not have to buy for it. And not buying materials, I never mind that. It does mean though that we need, do need to keep an eye out on our inventory, that if we get materials a lot from uh, enemies, sort the materials, that once they reach the point of 20, which is the max items we can hold, then we do sell 5 of them, so there's still room for us to get it. And it might give us a little extra pocket change along the way as well. I think this path will lead to where we need to be and this will lead us back to that center room we saw on the map where there are some very weird markers on the floor but I will show you in a moment I don't think it does anything only increasing my curiosity about if it actually is something it's piquing my interest uh, so to speak let's first go into this side here Ooh, two chests even. Here they come. We got enemies. 
And I don't think uh, the monsters respawn in the level, at least not as far as I have seen. So once we jump down into that room and jump back down to where we started, we can just walk the path again very quickly. Oh, this is the easier road. Leather boots and resurrection mist. Thank you very much. Well, it is treasure, uh, so you just, uh, well, it's not worth much. <laughs> Oh, definitely a combo. Seems like a fight is we can win this. Not that we can win this, we will win this. Yeah, you're not allowed to attack the ladies. That was easier than I thought. Ooh, 5 SP. Beautiful. These markings here on the floor. Very weird, but there's no reaction whatsoever if you walk over it, so... It probably doesn't mean anything. Or, at the moment, we just don't know that they mean anything. Hey, you little thing. Do not attack the ladies. They don't like that. Alright, what else can we find here? Ooh, a dead end with three enemies. Hell yeah. You ready for this? The a three chain combo. The all the extra bonus experience. You could have moved a little bit forward, uh, Mr. Slime. Yeah, they were fine. Mandrakes are annoying, but not near strong enough to uh, damage their HP by a dangerous amount. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> 734. <laughs> nice. Silence. This isn't unexpected. All those new moves is only making the f uh, coming fights easier. 5x and dairy, thank you, because we used up a lot earlier. See, there, there is no sense in trying to escape. They keep on coming, and if I try to go around it, the only thing that's gonna happen is that I show my back to them and then break my game. Mm, I should hold back my moves a little bit because I'm starting to run low on points. We better be careful. Be careful. It's finally over. How you do it? I wonder if at some point we're gonna learn a skill to recover MP outside of combat, like walking and gaining one point every two or three steps or something. No way it, if that move exists, I'm gonna spend so much points to uh, unlock that. Not too <laughs> Another split in the road. Like I said before, this cross cave is really big. But, well, you know what the, they say when the cave is big, it also means it, it has a lot of treasures to be found. Ooh! It actually works on these enemies. I don't think they do anything magical, but it does uh, shut them off for a little bit. I wonder what the treasure then will be. Oh, maybe we're gonna find another big al altar for, for some sort of ancient god that someone made to worship it. And what's left is like beautiful artwork that we can sell. Maybe even statues and stuff. Ooh, 
Well, there'd definitely be something interesting enough. Ooh, definitely interesting. We know what that is. It's a monster box. Isn't it? Huh, I thought the, the ones with spikes were monster box, or is it only a potential? Ooh, no, it, it restores all the monsters in the dungeon? Did I worry? That's a lot of monsters. That's a whole lot of monsters. Seems like a fight is we can win this. Oh, there's no question about that. I think the chest did that, but I did. I think he misunderstood what uh, was written before. I thought that opening the chest up would uh, put us in a fight against monsters, like we have in like the Trails games. But no, no, they create more monsters on the map to uh, mess with us. Well, the only thing I can say about that is it only means triple experience for this entire group. And another big pile. Probably gonna level up uh, again on this. Say that's worth ten out of ten. Thirteen hundred. <laughs> Very nice. Angie Arrow. We can win this. You better be careful. Oh. That's Too one for us. For you. Well, even if the treasure is shit we're gonna find this dungeon, one thing we can say for sure, we are more than ready for whatever lies ahead. <laughs> Blocking the entire road with two of you. Yeah, you might postpone uh, my trails a little bit, but you will not stop me. Here, now I level up. And I keep on coming. Ooh. It means we have another branch we haven't looked in yet. Let's move on ahead, it's fine. Ooh, what's that? Dead end. Did we make a wrong turn somewhere? Uh, Claude, look in the middle of the room. A gigantic blood type crystal. This is gorgeous. Looks like it. All there is is this weird rock formation. <laughs> Old map. The map says there's supposed to be a treasure room up ahead. You think that's a fake? Oh, it could be. Oh, by the way, Rena. Yes? You can use healing spells, right? How do those work? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. I just woke up one day and I could cast them. There aren't any healing symbols in the field of symbology, you know? Oh? No? I didn't know. Uh, and this map was expensive too. Should we search for another path? Hmm, I suppose we'll have to. Celine, would you mind if I had a look at that map? Isn't there something written here? It's kind of small, but I think it's about talking about spells or something? Oh, you're right! It's pretty faded, but it's definitely there. So why don't we do what it says then? We might as well give it a shot.
Well, that definitely <laughs> did something. A passageway! And I see a treasure chest of two. We did it! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, there's definitely not a lot of people that will uh, find that room, even if they got the treasure map, because they didn't have Claude. Ooh, I think there's a healing one, yeah. Alright, let's go for it. Ooh, three, four, ooh, that, 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 that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I want all of them. Ooh. What? The, the treasure chest is empty. Rare shriek. <laughs> New monsters. Fine. Come on, destroy it. We have to protect the ladies. Come on, there's it. Now you're mine. Hey, what what did I what did I just say? That's a lot of experience. <laughs> it doesn't mean that uh, every chest we're gonna open, we're gonna be fought by uh, those two. Ancient text. <laughs> Bingo! Here it is. This is it. What is that thing? Some kind of ancient text. Not that I can read it or anything, though. How sad. This is beyond my deciphering ability. Then I guess we have no choice us. but to take this back to my home and consult with the Elder. Oh, definitely. Selene, come with us. I want to know what's on the text. Well, that or find a linguist. Otherwise, we've hit a dead end. Hmm. Can we learn to be a linguist? Very true. An AA device. Letitia Jewel. The mysterious power in the jewel recalls the memory of Star Ocean. Letitia, the protagonist of Star Ocean 6, has joined the assault. Assault action. Summon characters not in the battle party to aid in combat. Summon during attacks to increase combo length or heal when in a tight spot. The MP of characters summoned in assault actions will not decrease. The assault gauge fills over time. When full, press any direction to summon. Defeating enemies or triggering battle skills will cause the assault gauge to fill faster. The fill level of the gauge carries over between battle. Assault formations can be reached from tactics in the camp menu. There are also jewels that enable heroes from the past entries in the Star Ocean series to be placed in the assault formation. Very cool. Well, we'll set up in a moment. Just let's pick up the other chest as well. 500. Sweet potion. Wall of the soul. It's even like an art piece. And wooden shield plus. Thank you very much. Now let's check what this beam of light is. Oh, a unique spot. Jade green columns. Massive deposit of pyro pyrozine. Undisturbed since the time immemorial. Many treasure hunters set their sights on its riches. And just as many lose their lives along the way. <laughs> Perfect. More levels, more items, more experience. I'll eat it all up. Yeah, I think those two gargoyles were actually bosses and we did pretty okay, I, I guess. They were no trouble at all. Alright, I'm guessing we just need to find our way out of here. Normally I would uh, just warp out of here, but since we still have one path we need to go to, to complete the entire cave, I don't want to uh, summon all the monsters back just yet, so let's uh, walk to that one side where we still haven't walked and check out what there is. 
All right, here we are, and it's just a single chest. If I walked like two feet, I would have seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's always gonna be like that, isn't it? Blue berries, thank you very much. Okay, that means we have finished the entire cave. And it looks like we still have something in here, so we do need to go all the way back to the front of the cave. Uh, it shouldn't be too far from here, so I'm gonna cut my way all the way over there. We can just walk it. Probably another scene that we have to decide whether or not uh, to go with her. Or leave her behind. You two have been a lot of help to me, so let me thank you both. Oh, you don't have to. Our little expedition didn't turn up anything on the sorcery globe, though. This is new. So it was the sorcery globe that you two have been fussing about. That's right. And that's why we wanted to travel to the L Kingdom. Say, would you like to join us, Celine? Claude? Claude? Well, I just thought that your symbology could be a real asset to us on the trail. He is right, though. Hmm. I could certainly give it some thought. Really? Certainly. As in whether or not the pretty lady over there is okay with it, of course. <laughs> See, he doesn't want to intrude on anything romantic between the two of us. <laughs> Continue traveling with Celine. Okay, so this is the moment we decide whether or not to put us here in our team or wave her away. And I think I've said it before, I don't know how many people there are. I think there are more than we can carry, so there are some that we will not have the ability to put in our party. But I don't know who they are. And since this is the first playthrough through this game, We'll take the ones we uh, see in front of us and we'll learn through the way which people we have missed and what the others could be. Could they be greater? Yes. Could they be lesser? Of course. But uh, in all honesty, I like Celine. Her picture looks beautiful and she's a mage and we always need a proper mage in our party. Next person hopefully is a more of a physical type uh, character, but then we have a perfect team. Two physical fighters, a mage and a healer. The perfect combination for any fight. Oh, I'm sure Reyna wouldn't have any problem. We'd be happy to have you along. That's not how you ask Reyna if she has a problem with it. Right, Reyna? Yeah. Well, in that case, I think I will take you up on the offer. Excellent. Back to our original plan, then. Our next destination is Kurik. Hmm. Rina seems a bit hesitant, but uh, I'm sure it will turn out okay, right? <laughs> or else we'll probably see a PA about it. All well, right, okay, so there's Kurik. But the thing I'm interested in are the two other green dots on the map, which I think we can reach. So I want to check those two out on the next episode. And of course, any PAs we might find uh, along the way. And of course, other quest items. Ooh, green monsters. Are those the weaker? Or the, I think those are the weaker ones. Like the ones we can just swipe away with the back of our hand. All right. So for now, I will say to you all, I hope you have a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. If you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we explore two, I think, new towns. And of course, after that, go to Kirk if we don't have anything extra we need to uh, round up. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs>